Your MacBook is a beautiful piece of industrial design. The only problem is it looks like every other MacBook. To fix that, and give it a little personality, I'm gonna show you how to print your own custom vinyl sticker that you can put on the lid. Now the first thing you'll wanna do is find some artwork. You're gonna want something that's black and white and high contrast. Now for the sake of not getting sued by using someone else's art, I'm gonna use something I own, which is my band's logo, Aloha Screwdriver. Now to print this out onto adhesive vinyl, you're gonna want this. This is the Cricut, it sells for around $300 and you can think of it like a printer that prints with a razor blade, cutting out exactly the shape you want into the vinyl. Now to get started, we're gonna sign into the Cricut website and click on Cricut Design Space. Create a new project, and then click on the button for upload image. I'm gonna upload my logo and then select simple image. Next, I'll use the select tool to erase the white areas in the background, leaving me just with the black logo, and then I'll save it. Next, I'll place the logo in the top left corner. This way I can use the ruler to scale the logo to exactly the size I want. When it looks good, you're gonna connect the Cricut to your computer with the USB cable, and then hit go. At this point, you get a preview, and if everything looks right, hit go again. For our next step is asking us to load up our material. In this case, we're using adhesive-backed vinyl. To load this up, first I have to put this on the cutting board. I'm gonna line this up so it's nice and straight, and then we wanna squeeze out all the air bubbles. And in fact, Cricut includes a little tool here that'll help you squeegee these out. So you open this up, ta-da! It's a little tool here you can use to just flatten this out, get it nice and smooth. And the whole reason you're doing this is because you don't want any wrinkles in your final design. We're ready to load up. We've got it all perfectly mounted on the board here, smoothed up. Now we're gonna put this in the Cricut, and when we're ready to go, hit the flashing Cricut button. So right now, the instructions from the software are telling the Cricut razor blade exactly where to cut in the vinyl to make the design that I'm telling it to make. Kind of reminds me of the old dot matrix printers. So now, I'm gonna need to peel away the pieces of the vinyl that I don't want. To do that, I'm gonna use the little Cricut tools that come with the Cricut. This one looks like a little dental tool but it's perfect for getting inside the letters and peeling away the inside of the O here, the little bit inside the A that I don't want transferred onto my laptop lid. Get the inside of the O. All right, now I'm gonna start peeling away the background. And this is where you gotta go really slow and make sure you're not taking the, uh, the logo with you or whatever you're printing. Look at that. Now that looks pretty awesome. Now for the next step, we're gonna use some adhesive transfer paper to get this design off of this cutting board and onto my MacBook. Cricut sells their own adhesive transfer paper, but I got this stuff called Frisket Film from my local art store. It's gonna do just fine. The trick is that it has to be sticky enough to pull the design off, but not so sticky that my design is hopelessly stuck onto it. So there's my logo on the clear, sticky film. Look at that. Now that is pretty cool. This is a MacBook I can be proud of.